Hello everyone, in this video I'll show you how you can install Webmin or Virtual Min, a free control panel for any VPS or any web host uh, server. First, this is my Google Cloud console, Google Cloud platform. It can be any platform, it could be Amazon SES, DigitalOcean, any Microsoft Azure, any kind of it has the same thing. You need to have a VM instance ready. So it different names are called some people some called vps some called uh, like droplet or something like that so you need to have a vps instance ready so i have just created blank fresh instance so i will just install a virtual mean first open an sss if it is provided web access you can use this otherwise you can have like using putty or anything else you can use to access the SSS shell. Okay. Just hold on a minute. Okay, because I want to do all things as a root, so I will just put sudo su dash. Date. So it will update all these uh, values and everything. This is also a nice article from DigitalOcean. If you Google it, you will find it. You can get the I mean, ready-made and you can just uh, copy paste. <coughs> Click on upgrade. Anything, any packages need to be update upgraded can be done. I mean, it because this is Please note, this is for the first fresh instance. If there is any other stuff in the server, some of the step might not be um, recommended, but this is only for fresh installation. We can set up a host name, but uh, for the sake of simplicity, we, we won't do this over here. We might do inside the after installing a webmin, but for now, we don't want to worry about all these things. First, let's get the virtual main installation script. Uh, this also can be get from its own uh, official website. Virtual main. But the best way is to use uh, digital version. They've prepared very nice articles and it's uh, easy to follow. So basically we just get that from its uh, official website. Now we don't want to do this. Okay, let's run the script. Hit yes. Okay, so this phase will take like 15 20 minutes depending on the server processing power. I'll pause the video for a moment while this entire process will happen. So, yeah, the phase one is done. Now, phase two. Of three, there are a couple couple of installation. So let it run on the background while I pause this video until it finishes. All right. So as you can see now, the installation is complete, and everything which is needed for the server has been set up automatically. Okay. Now, as it says here, it it can open with uh, ten thousand port. point as you can see it started working yeah but before this we need to set up a root password because we will need that to log in to the server we have to set up a root password so configuring web means root password so it's very simple just put this one in the SSS 
and here the root is username and the password is we have to keep any password we want to keep i'll just put test password okay just one two three hit enter and ignore this one the enable to resolve host instance one because we did not save the host name okay so password has been updated so this is the password to log in to the server root and this is the password okay let me restart the webmin as well After restart, it will work. Oops, sorry, use the different password. Why not? Okay. All right, here you go. You have installed a web virtual main web main control panel now you can set up websites and do all kind of things possible first thing that you need to do after installation is you need to go for post installation wizard most probably you need to keep this as default keep it everything as default unless you really want to change it yeah it's it's not work but most probably most use cases it's a, there is nothing to change this is the database password i'll keep it for testing this the same thing Uh, because we did not set up the host name so it will it will not resolve for the name server so i'll just uh, skip check for resolvability and click on next we can put the host name after this so uh, it's not a problem but just for the sake of simplicity i just don't worry about it because most of the dns host will not be hosted in this server most probably most users will be using other dns provider like from uh, domain registrar or maybe cloudflare so there is no need for set up dns server here unless it is need really needed all right Since everything is set up, everything is done, all you need to do now is to create a virtual server. So basically this is for domain name. So let's say you want to create a website, then you need to create a new virtual server. Okay. And uh, just put, the, put here the domain name, description, password and everything create and your site will be ready to be hosted into this server. In upcoming videos, I will go into the detail of this, but for now, this is for the basic installation of webmin and virtual main. So, thank you so much, and uh, see you on another video.